what's going on y'all uh i'm gonna make a video going over my collection at the end of the year because this year i have sold traded a ton of guns bought some newer cooler guns for my collection i don't have almost 40 pistols anymore i'm down to what 25 but i kept some cool shit uh 95 percent of it's 99 percent of it's nine millimeter if you don't like nines might as well watch another video. Uh, but if you like guns, stay tuned because I got I, I believe I got some cool shit. Uh, I'll start with the stuff that I'm carrying right now and the pistol I got for home defense. And up first would be uh, my Walter PDP Pro SD full size. I'll try to go over each gun if I done something to it, like a quick rundown. Uh, TR01. Uh, ZR3, well, ZR3 is a ZR Tactical Solutions plus three Magwell. Oh, Mag Base, my bad. Uh, Harrington Arms Compensator, XS uh, Night Sights. And this is my uh, nightstand gun. I shoot this gun lights out. And I also got the, uh, it's a Springco, uh, their, uh, recoil system they got with the white spring. It comes with the red. You got to purchase the yellow or white if you want it. The white's the lightest one. It's still like a 15, 15 pound pull. Uh, it's what it feels like, 15 pounds. They don't give you any weights because it's like the dual spring system. But, uh, super nice gun. Uh, anyways, next. This is my mailbox gun. Um, SIG 365-380. I shoot it really well. I stole the Ruger LCP Max uh, case that come with it. It's my little pocket gun. If we go to Quick Trip, Racetrack, I throw this in there. And... Next one, I carry this one every day. This is my work gun. Uh, Ruger Security 380. Uh, this is when I slide inside of my lunchbox and it rides shotgun with me. I'm a truck driver, so this one's in, my, in me. I'm a local truck driver. I don't cross state lines or anything, but this one every day in my lunchbox. Really cool gun. And you can't beat it for the price. I think these are going for like three, three and a quarter, something like that. Right. And this is when I get home. That's what I carry out. My uh, SIG 365 Spectre Comp. Empire, uh, Empire Katana, Katana uh, Magwell. Uh, tactical Development Gas Pedal. Uh, the SIG. Uh, Co-witness sights, night sights, a SIG Romeo, red dot, and then I got the DPM recoil management system in it. Really like this gun. I shoot it well. Fits the hands great, especially with the bag well. It just, you lock down that grip. Yeah, go. All right. Oh, four brothers holster. And this is my outside when I'm wearing a jacket or something really baggy and I can uh, carry outside a waistband, strong side. Uh, CZP 10 uh, C, Cajun Gunworks uh, edition. I got the Floyd's Custom Magwell. Uh, and plus three mag extension. I shoot this gun really well. It, this thing feels so good in the hands. A lot of people don't like the the stippling on it. They think it's aggressive. It's it's tough, but I, I mean I like that. It really digs in. Um, this one's got the upgraded sights.
All right, moving on. Let's see. Shadow Systems DR920P. This one is bone stock. It came just the way it is. Clear. Uh, I thought it was a cool gun. This is, I think it was my first comp gun I bought. No, I think I comped my Beretta. Um, I got videos on this one side by side between that and my Glock. If you want to see the uh, the recoil difference between this and uh, Radiant Ramjet Afterburner system. But with the fluted barrel. That's just it's just a good looking gun. Stiff one's great. Good factory trigger. It already comes with the upgraded blacked out sights. It's uh you get tritium with the or oh, whatever the fucking green shit around it. I think it's fluorescent. It, it I think it illuminates too once you charge it. Yeah, something like that. Alright, anyway. Let's go to this is my bull armory axe uh tomahawk. This is bone stock. Came with metal sides. One of the best factory triggers you can get. I mean, that's just nuts. I think it's like a three and a half pound, four pound trigger. I think I got a video on it too. Great looking gun. I mean, it's. I thought I had a scratch on it, my bad. And it's got more of the 1911 grip angle. Nice beaver tail from the factory. Pretty gun. Alright, let's see. Um, we'll go with... Here's my Beretta. This one's clear too. Uh, Beretta M9A4. Uh, let's see, I got lock grips. Pre precision. Damn, I forgot the name of that. Maybe Precision Magwell. Was it? Pre I don't know. This is a, a Beretta brand compensator. From, uh, shit, I think that's all I've done. This. Oh, it comes with a steel guide rod. Uh, this is still a factory trigger. This worked in. It's, uh, got to take out. Bang. Reset's awesome on this one too. Not as good as my Langdon, but yeah. Um, this is uh, Armorcraft plus three base pad. This is actually, I bought this actually for one of my CZs. And I was just fucking around to see if it would fit. And it fits perfectly with the Breda. Um, so I just kept it on there. Um, oh, this is Springer Precision. I think Springer Precision Magwell. Like it's it's early in the morning. I can't I can't remember where I got all this shit. Um, it's like five o'clock in the morning. I got up trying to get my shit together before I go to my second job. But uh, cool gun. Um, I didn't care for shooting it when I first got it because. Uh, the back sights I had to drift over some it was just you know from the factory and here's my next Beretta this one's clear that, that's about as smooth as you can get this is my Langdon Tactical 92G Compact I just got a great this is probably the, one of the best triggers I got the reset on this motherfucker is crazy <laughs> it's like a millimeter. Uh, I was planning on carrying this one, but I've had it uh, uh, double feed on me twice. And I put 400 rounds. I've had a double feed on me, and the buddy I shoot with, uh, it double fed on him. So I don't know. 
but it's always not the first round or second round. I think it's like the third or fourth round you shoot. So I think it's uh, a magazine. I hadn't shot it. I need to figure it out, but whatever. Uh, until I figure it out, I'm not going to carry it. It's a classy looking gun though. And this one's bone stock. Well, to whatever Langdon does with the MP3 coating trigger job. Uh, you know, all the bells and whistles they do there. Upgraded sights. Badass gun. And then my 19X build. See, this is a SLR Rifle Works Magwell. I got the uh, Timony Alpha Competition Trigger, Radiant Ramjet, Afterburner, and the Compressor uh, Spring Kit. Uh, I'm running the 15 pound spring. I, uh, this is Talon Grips. Uh, I took the beaver tail that came from the factory, cut it down, sanded the edge. I like the beaver tail. I, I get high on my guns and I don't, I don't like to get bit. Um, I believe that's all I've done to this one. Yeah. Trigger. Yeah, I believe that's it. Cool looking gun. I was, I was, I bought this one to mimic my Beretta. I plan on getting a SIG and doing the same thing with a compensator with the whole FDE. I'm just trying to do what, what they submitted to the military trials. I'm trying to do each of those guns and then soup them up. But badass shooter, love this gun. And my prodigy. This is becoming one of my favorites now. Um, DSC Gunworks comp barrel kit with the springs, an eight pound spring. Someone uh, shouted me out and told me it's a government model spring that they cut down. This is the uh, copper PVD coated one. Um, yeah, you can see right there. Um, I actually got the Atlas Toolless Guide Rod. Um, the only other thing I'll probably do to this, I was going to do the the Nitro Fin gas pedal, but this damn thing don't kick at all now. I mean, it's super flat. Uh, they're like 130, 140 bucks for a little fucking little gas pedal. Or I can do like the EGW uh, ignition kit for 235. So I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to put another 500 rounds through this. The trigger's working out good. It's it's smoothing out, and it's dropped down to like a I think it's a four pound, maybe four and a half pound. It was six when I first got it. it was just bullshit. But it's about a four four and a half pound, and it's crisp. The reset's perfect on it, so I might just keep, just might keep it, because it, it works. I don't want to, have had no problems with this gun. Uh, I might have had two jams, two malfunctions on it since I got it. Maybe, maybe three, but I've, I've now I'm, I'm around 900 rounds on it. Just say four, but I shoot a lot of remands, and uh it ate them up and you know I've had the remands jam up some of the guns that eats everything so I think it's more of an ammunition problem than anything but I won't even call it a problem it's, I'm not carrying this gun this is just a fun gun for me uh, but four out of a thousand and shitty ammo that I buy so uh, cool gun oh Terran Tactical Magwell my bad and this is the carry version What's up next? This is my SP. Uh, shit, I'm sorry, brain fart. SP01 uh, competition. Uh, they usually come with the red grips and this 21 round, I believe. Uh, Lighten, uh, recoil spring, hammer spring. Uh, I bought the red grips from Armorcraft, the same color as what came with it. 
but you got to buy the shorter one to be able to put their mag, uh, mag well on. But this one is going to get sent away to Cajun Gunworks. Uh, I think I got, it was the end of November, I think, when I called them and got on their waiting list, and they said they're 10 weeks out. So it's going to probably gonna be the last week of December or the first of the year before they email me the link to uh, write up the build sheet. But I'm doing a single action only uh, conversion. I'm going to do a barrel bushing. Uh, this one's got one from the factory, but they unpress this, put theirs in there. It's got tighter tolerances. Uh, I'm going to have them uh, crown the end of the barrel. You know, they call it an accu crown. Uh, I just think it looks cool. Um, I thought about having them DLC coat this, but they actually got where you can do some mill work. So I know for a fact it's going to do the trigger job, barrel crown, barrel bushing. I might do some slide milling up here to make it look fancier. Um, but I don't know. It's already going to be five, six hundred dollars just for the trigger job, barrel bushing, and crowning. But it's a good shooting gun. It's just got a trash ash trigger. Let me look at that. And then. <laughs> that resets so much garbage, man. Ugh. Anyways, all right. But love this gun. If it, it, this, this gun is probably one of the, the best feeling guns for my hands. Uh, can't wait to get it done, though. I've been pushing it off, pushing it off because I've been buying other shit. And, but anyways, I'm going to send that one there. I got another one, too, that's going with it since I'm on the waiting list. Might as well send a couple. Oh, since we're talking about it. This is the other one I'm sending, my uh, CZP01. It's got lock grips. Uh, other than that, bone stock too. This one I'm definitely gonna do, the pro package. Um, the barrel bushing, and I might have them crown the end. This was a carry gun for me, so I kinda wanna take it back carry, but I don't wanna do all the crazy shit. I don't mind the sights, it, sh it shoots great, but maybe just just the barrel bushing trigger job and keep it how it is. But this one's the same, trigger trash. And oh, all these guns are clear. Um, but yeah, look at that. This trash ass trigger, man. Reset, it's horrible on this one too. But, oh. I love me some CZs. Lock, uh, Mayhem Grips, these with the palm swells. I don't know if you can see them. Blue Liner. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna get that plug to get rid, rid of the uh, lanyard loop. I don't know what the fuck you need that. This is my uh, T-Sauce PX9 Gen 3 Night Stalker. Um, I was going to sell this one, but man, the more I shoot it, it's just a great gun for the price. Uh, my wife loves shooting this gun. When you buy it, it comes with like one of them little trigger holsters, trigger lockaway holsters, you know, it's a little small bullshit. Um, all kinds of panels and back straps, and it's just, you get a lot. This mag well, a couple mags. Uh, I don't think I've done a review on this one, but, uh. I mean, it looks good. I think it's like 450 when I bought it. I think they're cheaper now. When I bought it, they're still uh, a newer gun. Love the color. And this has got a pretty good trigger. Pretty good trigger. Um. Well, break. Well, he says it's pretty good, but it's not. You don't feel it. It's numb. And you can outrun this if you're really trying to shoot fast. You can outrun the trigger. But like I said, it's uh, my wife loves shooting it. She ain't outrunning shit. Um, 
fun gun. Fun gun. All right. This is my Browning Black Label, uh, 22 caliber. And these are, <laughs> it's a, it's not a, I mean, it's, it's a scaled down version of a government size 1911. Um, this thing rarely jams for 22. Anyone shoots a lot of 22, um, they jam all the time. Well, at least my experience with them, they jam a lot. Cause they are so damn dirty they just come up but this damn thing i probably got over a thousand rounds and it's maybe jammed maybe 10 times i, I don't even think that much cool gun uh, compare it it's just as like i said scale down it's just not a small but it's a complete scale down <laughs> that's fucking nuts right This is my oldest gun. This used to be my little safe queen. I never, I, I, I maybe only got 1,500 rounds in this thing over the years. This is the first gun I bought 20 something years ago. I know a lot of people shit on Kimber and how they make junk, but I don't know. This is a made in, I bought it back in 2000. So that's 20, almost 24 years ago now. Um, I don't know if, the quality was different 25 years ago. Um, but this thing is, I think it's like a two pound trigger on this fucking thing. I mean, it's great gun. Um, but I've never had a problem with any Kimber. I've, I've shot a few um, buddies at the range. Um, like the newer ones, there was the Rapide version. Um, They've always been great shooters. I know, like I said, a lot of people have been shitting on them lately. I don't know if they got bad ones. I've had people shit on this one in the comments saying they're junk. Um, no, I don't know. But mine's great quality. It's held up over the years. All right, moving on. All right, my Rock Island Armory 5.0. It's an ugly ass gun, I ain't gonna lie, but it's their version of the competition gun. Um, I got this one, I guess it was the second month run earlier this year. This is the 164th one made. They were knocking out, I think, 150 a month. Um, I've only shot this gun probably 400 rounds. Yeah, it's got the square barrel ball bearing. This thing is the tolerance, tight tolerance, super smooth. Trigger's goofy. It's it's light, but it's I don't know, man. It's it's smushy, and then it breaks. The resets, ah. Eh. I shoot it good, super accurate. But since then. Uh, nobody was getting these guns. And then since then, they done made another fucking version. This twice as much. With some damn lightning cuts up here. And, and, and fucking, I don't know. Um. But this was like a thousand dollar gun. And then, shit. Um. Now the new one's like 1800, 1900, something crazy. Uh, but. I don't know, this looks like a Robocop's gun. <laughs> but I just wanted those impulse buys. I had to have it. I'm going to hang on to it. I mean, I shoot super flat. It's got a different, uh, there's a ram valve system or some shit. It's a, uh, I don't say it's the easiest thing to clean. You got to kind of break it down and push a little pin out. And it's it's more than doing like a 1911 uh, breakdown. Um, but I thought it was cool. I'm, I'm, it's going to remain in the collection. Uh, but I heard a lot of people's having problems with it. I hadn't shot mine enough to say if it's reliable or not. Like I said, I got what maybe three, four hundred rounds. Hell, I don't know. Maybe whatever. But all right. 
All right, y'all, I had to take a break and set up for the next little section. This one ain't going to be a big one. Uh, I'm just going to finish up my handguns, and then I'll make another video on my long guns, which I ain't got many, but I got a few cool ones of those. All right, the next six guns are my faves. This is my Bull Armory SAS Tac Light. Great gun. And it's clear. Great gun, even better trigger. I mean, this, this trigger is damn near as nice as my XC that you'll see here in a minute. Beautiful gun. Then. This was my first CZ. This is my gateway drug into high-end guns. This was the first cheat code I bought. Clear. This Joker has got a 1.8 pound trigger. You breathe on it, it goes pow. <laughs> it's, it's a good gun. And this is bone stock. I love that gun. And here's my baby. Uh, Staccato XE. I took the magwell off. It had one of the big ass. Big ass ballooned out magwells. I thought it looked a lot cleaner. Like this. And this has got the best trigger. It's right at two pounds. Love this gun. I got, this is my uh, special occasion gun. Maybe 500 rounds. I got a book where I write all my shit down. When I can, when I can remember. Well, the guns I buy brand new. I got a, quite a few guns I bought used over the years. I just kind of, you kind of look at them and, and eyeball what you think, how many rounds are in it. But this is my uh, CZ Shadow Two, single action only, lock grips, uh, lock uh, magazine. Extension button, whatever you want to call the damn thing. Terran Tactical. It's plus four, I think. Uh, that's all on this one, too. With aftermarket shit. Cool hands. Um, screw. This one's a ridiculous trigger, too. Reset. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, another great shoot. Every every gun on this table is a great shooter. I mean, I mean, if you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> but they got red liners. Uh, carbon fiber lock grips. Really nice. And my Dan Wesson DWX. I ain't done shit to this gun either. Amazing trigger. I mean, just an absolute piece of piece of art, man. Got to. Flush crown cut barrel. This gun, crazy accurate. This is probably this is my top three shooter. I got this one, my XC. What a great gun. And then 
This gun is the gun of my collection. I shoot the best. CZ A01LD uh, from CZ Custom Shop. One thing I did is I added the grips, the red, white, and blue grips. But this comes with the trigger job from CZ Customs out there in Arizona. Um, this damn thing is an absolute tack driver. Bull barrel. <clears throat> and the trigger, crazy good. Reset. That's about a, right at three, sub three pound. It's a beast though. I think it's 52 ounces, I believe it was. But yeah, it's the Staccato, or it's Staccato XC, this gun, and my Dan Wesson are my top three favorite, top three accurate. And then it goes, you know, Blue Armory, TS2, Shadow, they're all kind of in there. A lot of people don't like this damn dust cover, man. I, I like that look. I just, I kind of, I thought back in the day, CZ's were fucking ugly. I just, uh, grown to love them. I don't know if it's because of the performance and how they shoot. Made me outlook the, uh, made me overlook the looks of them. <laughs> I think they're fucking beautiful guns. Um, the fit and finish for the, the what you pay for them too. I mean, Awesome. Um, uh, I guess that's it, guys. Um, that's my two top dogs. Um, that's that's all the pistols I got. I, I like I said, I try to keep all the cooler, high end shit. I enjoy shooting. Um, I got four long rifles. That was my plan. Uh, this upcoming year, I need to get. A better rounded collection of guns. I need to get a, a AK style rifle. I, I sold all my shotguns, but I had like fucking duck hunt <laughs> a shotguns that I acquired over the years from friends and family that wanted to get rid of them. I pretty much never shot them. I had a TAC 14 shotgun, got rid of it. Um, it looks cool, but I'm not. I'm not defending my house with a damn gun. I'm shooting from the hip, and I damn sure ain't gonna put that damn thing up and look down. I'd rather shoulder something. Uh, but I want to get a few nice tactical shotguns. Brett has got a cool one out of that the A300 patrol. Anyways, uh, I'd like to get a couple more ARs. Like I said, I started uh, buying those. I, I got a 300 Blackout that I built. I'll, I'll do a video on it too. But um, anyways, I'm still gonna buy some pistols this next year too. But I'm just I'm, I got a good rounded collection. I think. Uh, they might be all nine millimeters, but I like shooting nine. I buy in bulk. Nine millimeters is a good round. Uh, anyone gonna cry about a nine millimeter? I bet you won't stand in front of one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, oh, uh, anyways, I know it's a long video, and the ones that stayed in there, I appreciate it. Uh, Till next time, man. Y'all be safe out there. Later.